little pony. We're gonna start just a regular thing. Convention of four. Get a nice little warm up. Same time. Take it near away one or one foot and two other. Don't fall. That is the bad news. And we're gonna switch the leg. And come to neutral place. We're gonna bend both of knees at the same time. Oh, feel your leg. Do you feel the back of your leg? And come on up. Do two more times. Take time. And we're gonna talk about posture. Yeah, the posture could prevent your pain or cause your pain. All right, there we go. Come on up. Let's just get a little wider. Wide on your feet. You know what we're going to do. Bring that knees closer together. And come in up. And open it. Open it, pull. Oh, open it. There you go. And your feet are a little left to the inside. Yeah. And up. We're going to put them together. And open it. To neutral place. We're going to rotate your knees. And we are going to rotate Upset direction. And take it to neutral place. Slowly come up. And take your chair, wherever you're comfortable to. We're gonna hang on to the back of the chair. This way. Okay, there you go. Yeah. I'm going to the back and we're gonna walk. Yeah. All the exercise related to our legs. We're gonna warm up the legs too. Feet down to floor. We're gonna rotate our hips. Oh, rotate them. How you feel this morning? Is that a little stiff? And we're gonna rotate to upset direction. Always know there's a chair. You can always reach out to chair. We go. Take it to neutral place. Catch up with your breath. We're gonna go little side. Doesn't matter which side you go. Go in a little side bend. One more breath. Then we're gonna inhale. Come on up. As I exhale. Other side. And then we're gonna do one more set. In. Inhale up, exhale side. One more inhale, exhale, go to the other side. And the inhale, come on all the way back up, then exhale. Just do that little back bend. If you like, you can keep one of your hand on the floor, just like this. And go back bend, or like Paul is doing, you can have both hands onto your back. Your eyes are trying to look at your chest, not looking up the sky. Okay, don't let your head go all the way back. And we're gonna inhale, come on back up. 
Easy as exhale, bend your knee. Bend your knee, look down on the floor. Take one more. Deep breath in. As exhale, go back, bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, look down on the floor. Catch a couple of breaths right here. Then inhale up. Good job. We need to do that uh, rotating the hips, right? Yeah. Let's get one more rotation right here. Checking into your hip again. We're going to do rotate to upset direction. And next, we're going to check into a source, the hip flexor. Okay, take the neutral place. Get a little wider. And bring the hip down slightly. Yeah, as much as comfortable. And push back up. Down. And try to make sure your knee and toes point in the same direction. Come on up. One more back. Okay, now we're going to take all your weight to one side, one leg or the other. Doesn't matter which one you do first. Here we go. Yeah, bend that knee. Other knee is staying stretched. Yeah, bend that one you carry that weight. When you carry your weight, always bend it. Okay, so you don't hurt your knee. Come on all the way up. As exhale. Go to other side. Little balancing and working on your strength. Inhale to center. Exhale to side. We're gonna hold this right here for a moment. Then we're gonna inhale up. Exhale down. Good job. We're gonna inhale to center. Hold there to exhale. Now we're gonna do toe heel, one side, one foot at a time. You can have your hand up on chair. Here we go. Toe heel, toe heel. Other side, toe heel, toe heel. We're gonna walk. Yeah, have hands on chair. Make sure you're safe. So, we're going to talk about posture. So, here we go. Couple more this. Getting your knee up. When you push the knee up like this, you are stretching it all the way to maybe L5. Yeah, on your lower back. Here we go. Take the quiet place. Or you can uh, face to that, that way. Go ahead, face to that way. There you go. We're going to be mountain pose. Okay. This is your hip. Your feet is straight down from your hip. If it's possible, your toes are a little pigeon toe. But everybody was born different. Everybody have a different experience. So don't force your body to do, your body is not to do. All right. Then, bend your knees slightly. I call this thing micro bend. Okay? Your knees are slightly bent. This does, this is going to prevent your knee pain. And, yeah, sacrum. Don't push them out like this. We're gonna take that to forward. You see that? If I push it like this, right here. That's uh, L4, L5, S1. It's crunched right here. Do you see? So take that pubic bone pointing forward. 
Then squeeze your stomach. Squeeze your buttocks. Are you there? Push your shoulder slightly high. Just an inch or so. Then push that to back. Then slide your fingers down on your leg. I hear your thumbnail either looking front or you can have your palm looking front. Never to let your thumbs looking at each other. Your thumbs need to be looking forward while palm is looking front. Now thing we call head, this thing weighs about as much as bowling ball, about 13 pounds. So take that right up onto your shoulder. When you get there, try and tuck your chin slightly. Don't close all the way, just slightly tucked. Pushing your crown of the head towards the sky. Yeah, your shoulder is going down, your fingertip pointing earth and pushing your earth down with your fingertip. Pubic bone, yeah, your tailbone trying to point the front. Your knees are soft. Okay. This is a mountain pose. Catch a couple of breaths. Then slow inhale. Come back to comfortable place. Did you feel a little different? Yeah. So try to have that posture. Anytime if we are online and you're waiting for your turn, more than likely, most people have that thumbnail is talking to each other. Let's see what's different. If your thumbnail looking at each other, your shoulder is, yeah, your chest is caving in, your back is slightly open. We don't want that. We want to, yeah, push to the back. Get your chest high and take tailbone forward. Your knees always stay slightly bent. Good job. Okay, let's walk this out. And we're gonna do this on chair. We can do this, yeah. We can do it on chair. There you go. Okay. Well, before we get comfortable, we need to do a couple more exercise. We're going to get up again. Here we go. Slowly come up. Oh, was that hard? Going down take time. Few more of this. Getting a little warm up. Oh, that's good. Just because you are in the 80s, you still have to do exercise. I never seen any doctor tell you, do not exercise. So we are keeping the exercising. Okay, hold the posture. Take your right foot a little forward. Well, maybe, maybe just a halfway, yeah. Left foot, center, the arch of your foot, and the right heel line up, right? Are we ready? We're going to get up. Here we go. Getting up. Getting down. Three more of that. Three up. Three down. Two up. Nice and slow. Two down. One last one, up, and down. 
All right, we're gonna switch the side. Your left heel line up with your right arch. Your arms could be here, arms could be here. You can be a big bird, okay? Here we go. We're gonna inhale, going up. Exhale, up, down. Three more. Going up, going down. Two more. Up and down. Last one going up. Last one goes down. Good job. We're gonna walk. And take the quiet place. Sit shallow on chair. You're not all the way back like this. Yeah. At least halfway on the front. Your feet really pushing the earth. Now, your back of your neck, collarbones line up. So take that shoulder slightly behind you. Your hand, yeah, your, your thumbnail, you are looking forward. Yeah, just like this. Right? Now squeeze your stomach. Squeeze your glutes. And push your buttocks up slightly. Take your tailbone pointing front. Right here is slight cat pose. Same time, your shoulder is back. Are we good? Of course, your knees bent are here. Good job. Take your head right on top of your shoulder. Keep that thumbnail looking front. Catch up a couple of breaths. I'm gonna turn to you. And we're gonna do a little exercise, the same exercise we did standing. We're gonna go a little side to side. Yeah. Okay. Hold that posture. Since we are seated, we are pretty safe right here. Take that left hand back over your head. Your right hand pointing floor. We're gonna push that left elbow a little behind you. Push, push back and take your eyes, look up sky. Do you feel your sternum bone go a little sideway and get a little bit longer? Is that possible? But feel like it. And we're gonna slow in here, back to neutral place. Exhale, catch up with your breath. Then go to side away. Take your right hand behind your head and take your right elbow to your back. And we're gonna look up the sky. If you can feel all the way down to your, oh, maybe a side joint there, go all the way down. Yeah. And we're gonna stay one more breath. And take a slow inhale. Come on up. Exhale, bring all the way down. Okay, your shoulder, right? Your chin is slightly tapped. Catch up for a moment. Then we're gonna bring that right knee up. And we're gonna take to your right ankle over your left knee. Take your right hand, push the right knee, just a gentle, gentle pressure. 
and bring the right toes pointing. Yeah, you can make this with your head too if you like. And if it's possible, go ahead. Go a little forward fold. You don't need to go whole bunch. Now I hear if you can take that right elbow inside here, yeah, right high and give a gentle pressure. Just a little pressure. If you can feel that on your sciatica area. Then slowly inhale, bring all the way up. As I exhale, we are going to switch the side. If your knee causes you pain, please be careful for not to do at all. That'll be okay. Take slight weight onto your thigh. Push your left toes up. And take the elbow. In a thigh here. Then same time you're taking the right hand. Slide down to your ankle. If you don't get there, it's okay too. We're gonna stay here. Just one more breath. Then we're gonna take slow inhale. Coming all the way back up. And exhale. Back to starting point. Do a little forward bend. Get your knee a little wider. We're gonna fit a torso right into inside our leg. Yeah, we go take a deep breath in, get it nice and tall. As I exhale, hinge with your hip. You're hinging with your hip. Couple more breaths. Do you feel the stretch on your lower back? Then take slow inhale, bring it all the way up, all the way to exhale. We're gonna scoot our buttocks all the way back to chair. Yeah, to the point you can touch your back to the chair. Yeah, that's a little different, huh? You can keep your feet here, or you can back, get back to center. We're gonna take a deep breath in, arms go out from side, hold there. As I exhale, lean back onto chair. We're gonna stay here. Five more breaths, can you do that? Yeah. Give ourselves a wonderful stretch. If that caused you pain, don't do it. Go back to your comfortable place. We're gonna take one more deep breath and stretch more. Bring yourself up as you exhale. Bring all the way down, beautiful. Rotate your shoulders. Right after this session, we will have another session on the floor. Please join us for that too. Rotate to upset direction. Take it to neutral. Catch up with your breath. Have your hand to your sternum. Paul and I want to thank you 
where you are making time for yoga this morning. With all respect we have for you, we do wish to bow to you. Namaste. Namaste.